From AC-DC power supplies and industrial machinery to smart lighting and home automation, power monitoring is a feature increasingly being used in a variety of products to enhance performance, increase reliability, and to reduce energy consumption. Hello, I'm Jeffrey Lawton, Senior Product Marketing Manager at Microchip Technology. In this video, I'll review the features and variations in Microchip's MCP39F5XX Power Monitoring 9C family to help you choose the best product for your application. The MCP39F5XX products are a family of highly integrated single-phase power monitoring ICs. The family's high-end analog front end enables accuracy capable of just 0.1% error across the 4000 to 1 dynamic range, and a 16-bit calculation engine provides the most common power calculations used in power monitoring. This includes active, reactive, and apparent power, active and reactive energy, RMS current and voltage, power factor, line frequency, and zero crossing of the voltage waveform. Tracking of minimum and maximum quantities and monitoring of critical thresholds, such as voltage sag and surge, or over power limits, are also integrated. The result is a family of off-the-shelf products that mitigates the need for extensive metrology knowledge and design resources. Additional unique features to help the designer include options for PWM output, EE prompt to store data, temperature compensation, and a selection of communication interfaces. The displayed table shows the feature differences within the family. If you want the most flexibility in the variety of events to be monitored, and you are not concerned about energy accumulation, zero crossing detection, min and max quantity tracking, or PWM output, then the MCP39F501 is a fine choice. However, if one of these features is of use, then take a look at the MCP39F511 and MCP39F521. The MCP39F511 has a UART interface configurable up to 115.2 kilobits per second with a one-wire interface mode to help reduce isolation requirements. The MCP39F521, on the other hand, has an I2C interface that allows up to four devices connected on the same bus. These two products do sacrifice some event monitoring options to fit in these extra features. Lastly, if you need to monitor two electrical loads or need to also monitor the neutral line for electrical faults or tampering indications, then you can't beat the MCP39F511N. The MCP39F511N is very similar to the MCP39F511, but the temperature input was snagged to give you the ability to monitor two electrical loads for the price of one chip. This halves your component count and cost. Development tools are available for each of the power monitoring products discussed in this video. For details, please visit microchip.com slash power monitoring. Thank you for considering Microchip for your next design.